Hi, my name is Adam Flynn, and in today's training video, we will look at how to add a field to your policy. There are two different ways you can do this, by either A, utilizing the CLU boundary, which is the most common way to do it, or B, to manually draw the field. First, let's look at how we can utilize the CLU boundary. As you can see on the map, we currently are looking at all CLU boundaries, and in order to do that, you would first click the Map Layers icon, and you'll notice under the Sims Fields section, we currently have the All Fields turned on. With this turned on, all you need to do is click the applicable field, which will generate this green plus sign titled Add Sims Field. Once clicked, it'll bring up your Add Sims Fields Attributes grid, which presents you with the FTF information, share percentage, share name, which all can be edited, field acres, which again can be edited, and then the CLU information. If everything looks correct, simply select Save or Cancel to start over. For today's demonstration, I'm going to cancel this, and I'm actually going to turn the All Fields off and return to Policy Fields. You'll notice we do not have any fields currently selected, which allows me to select the Draw Field button. With this selected, you simply need to draw your field by clicking in one point, and then a red line will begin to follow your mouse icon which will allow you to draw your shape of your field. Once you have your shape, a double click will again bring up the now draw field attributes grid where you can key in the FTF, again the farm name, share name, share percentage, and then as well update those field acres. Like before, if everything looks correct, simply select save or cancel to start over. And that is how you add a field to your policy.